heavy, that's that's inevitable, but for now, um, for now I'd like to do this because I can't, I can't, I can't do the Falcon Heavy video on, uh, on the Xbox edition. There's too much crap going on with the Falcon Heavy that I can't really do on the Xbox edition. I need some mods, so, SS520-5 it is, um. Um, I'm trying to look at the heights because the height of um, the height of SS520-5 is only something like 10 meters, so I want to replicate that accurately. Um, I think this might be too big. Uh, I think a lot of the engines. I'm pretty sure all the engines on here might be a little too big to. So what I'm going to do is, um, instead of, I understand that it launched with a solid rocket booster. Um, its first stage was a solid rocket booster, and then it separated, and, uh, it separated really high up in the atmosphere, and it, uh, used its second stage to burn to orbit. And its thrust, thrust to mass ratio was like 7 to 1 or something so the fucking solid rocket booster just sent it like super quick so let's see we're gonna make it oh, we, I guess we should make the cube sat first the tricom one um, I think two of these stacked on top of each other would replicate the size of it accurately come on now duplicate Okay, I guess we have to pull another one from the menu. Don't work that controls. Alright, there we are. Now it wasn't very big. It's um I'm actually gonna look at a picture of it right now for reference. It it it's very small, it looked it's very small and rectangular. I wanna get the detailings correct though, let's see here. start with the uh, solar panels. I'll use the square solar panels. Just these really basic ones on each side with four symmetry enabled. Um, and actually I'm only gonna have two symmetry enabled because uh, like on on a on one side on two sides of it the solar panels completely cover but then on uh, another side they uh they don't they're like spaces between them i just want to make sure it's accurate there we go come on now Okay, so that looks half decent. We'll do that. And then on this side, I'll do them spaced out like that. And then, I'm gonna just add some, if I can find small enough parts, some, some detailing on the top here. That's a micro node, that won't work because still too big. Strut connectors might. Let's see what a strut connector. No, they're too big too. Um the thing on it has on the top some uh some stuff. I don't exactly know what it's for, but it has some stuff on the top. We'll just add a couple of gadgets in place of that stuff. We could, or no, it's 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 much too small to put a narrow band scan on. Negative this this uh, gra gravioli detector or whatever. Could probably put that on the top. Um, uh, 
thermometer. So, uh, whole thing, whole, like the whole reason they did that mission and stuff, right, is because, right, CubeSats used to be, like, they used to be just kind of for educational purposes, right, but, uh, with the miniaturization and, uh, power upgrade of computer parts steadily increasing, and I believe power requirements being reduced to CubeSats are actually becoming a hell of a lot more practical, so you can launch really tiny payloads with really tiny rockets into orbit and still get valuable data from it. So that's that's the whole reason they did that, right? And it only actually cost, I think, 3.5 million to, uh, to actually put this thing into orbit with that little rocket. Here, the barometer, that's what we'll put on here, is the last one. There we go. Um, I should need to, I need to, I'm looking at a picture right now to, to sort of replicate this as best I can. It's got holes all over it. I wish there was a way that I could do that. We will put in between the, uh... The solar panels here, some batteries, though. This is the smallest one, I think. I'm gonna I'm gonna sink them into I'm gonna sink them into here so that they don't oh shit it's not on double symmetry sink them into here so they don't stick out so much and wreck it so this thing is not gonna have any RCS or any like anything to turn with. I actually I might sink a reaction wheel inside of it with the with the move tools just to just to so that I can turn it and stuff. Come on now. It's been a while since I played uh, on the Xbox version. It's uh. Gotta figure out again how to uh, do horizontal. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that actually looks decent. That's good. Now I'm gonna sink the reaction wheel inside of it. I know there's a really tiny reaction wheel. Yeah, it's a small inline. Yeah. It's still not. It's still. Ooh, ooh, the avionics package. I think that might. No, it's still going to stick out, I think. Yeah, it's still going to stick out. Can't do that. Hmm. Just need a, a tiny little, tiny, tiny action wheel to put in here. Dear squad, please make a smaller smaller stabilizer. This linear RCS ports wouldn't obscure too much. Give me the ability to rotate them anyway, I guess. good. I just need the ability to rotate it. I don't care if it's like wonky. Just need the ability to rotate it a little bit. I'm gonna 
sink them in as best as I can so that they don't uh, poke out and mess the design up. Is there a way to... I need to turn off... Um, turn off angle snap. There. Sinking it in behind the panel like that should do the trick. All this, all this recent rocketry news, SpaceX launching a freaking uh, satellite into orbit with their, with their Falcon 9 and the Falcon Heavy launch with the car with a uh, freaking Elon Musk's Tesla on it and everything is just, it's all been so exciting recently. It's, it almost doesn't feel real if I'm completely honest. Like, it's, it's nice to see all this progression being made all at once and I have high hopes for the future now for sure it has single-handedly restored my faith in humanity there we go that looks good now I'm gonna sink a radial RCS tank into the middle hopefully it's not too big to fit inside oh god it's way too big isn't it Is there any smaller than that one? Really, really absurdly tiny RCS tank. This is too big, it just won't fit on the inside. Need some fuel for this thing. It's too bad you can't make parts invisible. That would defy physics, though, and that's part of the reason I like this game, so we can't do that. This is gonna. It would be really hilarious. Like, I hated it when it happened to my shuttle, but it would be really hilarious if the spin glitch happened to this thing. <laughs> because. <laughs> Uh, it would just be it. It would just be pretty funny, cause like just to see this tiny little thing spinning at like a million miles an hour for next to no reason would put a smile on my face. Yeah, it's it's too big. I can't fit it in. It's gonna have to go. All right. Well, we tried the RCS, but unfortunately, this thing isn't gonna be rotating. Not this small. So we'll just leave it like that. And uh, do the main rock, and I'm gonna put a fairing around it first. It, it had a, a tiny fairing. It was basically a nose cone, pretty much. Let's see if I can. If there's anything like that in thermal. Yeah, yep. Yeah, we have something small like that. Oh, that's a that's a heat shield, not a fairing. Bearings. Never mind, we might not have one that small. Yeah, no, they only go to 1.25 meters. Let's see here. I think it's going to be too big if we do it like this. I'll have to look at the 
It's 10 meters tall, but I don't exactly remember how wide it is. I'll have to look. That right there looks to be, well, this is... That right there looks to be about a meter tall, so... You know, we'll do it like this. We'll, we'll see what happens here. Alright, so I'm gonna not have a very big second stage, and it's gonna be a really, really tiny engine. Um, we'll try this engine out first, and then if this engine doesn't do the trick, I'll switch to a different one. Oh, I need to add a decoupler onto this stage, too, here. Because otherwise there's going to be a separator, not a decoupler. I don't want to want to make it look like the thing too. I don't want to make it look different than what it actually looked like in real life. So I got I just got a bunch of Discord messages. We'll do the Twitch engines. I'll do two of them on Angle Snap. might push the engines in just a little bit just you know, just to make it look like the real thing okay that's all right i think i don't think they'll get obstructed so we'll do that and now booster. This is the main part. It had a solid rocket booster. This will be the bulk. This is what gets this thing up high enough to... and it launches on an angle as well, so this will be what we use. Um, not exactly small, but, you know, I'll scale it down later to a even smaller booster and we'll see how small we can get this thing. So, I'm gonna do exactly like they had it in real life, you know, just a bun. Is there a fin that looks a little bit less angled that I can use? It was basically just a tiny little structural wing, pretty much. I could probably use Elevons, even, like the Elevon 4s. And then turn off their pitch and stuff move them out just a little bit. Alright. That looks alright. Disable all the ship you can just launch it on an angle.
So, for anybody who just started watching, this is again the J Japanese SS. Jeez, I've. I just forgot the goddamn name off the top. I had it. Herp. Yeah, the SS 520 5. Smallest rocket world to ever bring a payload to orbit tiny brought a tiny little cube sat called uh called tricom one dash or it's, yeah tricom one r gonna name it that right now it says and the reason they named it Dash five or whatever, I think, is because they had a an earlier one that uh, it's lost some, it lost control mid-flight and crashed into the ocean before this one, and so this is the second, or this is this is like the, I think the fifth prototype it finally worked. I think that's angled a little bit too far, just a little bit. There. Alright, let's see how this works. gonna check the chat quickly before we launch I don't have my phone with me right now so I have to do it through my computer Alright, gotta adjust my staging just a little here, because I fucked up and didn't have it at the right place. Let's see how this goes. I have a prediction that it's gonna fail, yeah. It's gonna be interesting, yeah. It's doing the right thing though, for sure, you know, like in, it does, it would do this in real life too, you know, it kind of just forced off to the side a whole bunch. Heating. <laughs> okay, so less steep angle. Got it. <laughs> Made it quite a bit of distance, though. Oh, you know what I could do? I could totally turn down the thrust a little bit when I do this, too. Turn it down to, like, 75 or something percent. But that definitely, from what I saw at the launch, yeah, that's some, some brutal acceleration right there. So off to a good start so far. limit the thrust down to like 80 percent or here 90 percent start with 90 and see what happens come on now get to 90 close enough imagine if we ran space programs in real life with close enough That seems like a good angle. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot to order the damn staging again. Oh well. Go down there, staging. Wee. Oh, almost forgot to turn the SAS on. Not that it's gonna make much of a difference at all, really. I have a feeling this thing's still gonna burn up. This is far from a problem. Besides, this is gonna go great. It's gonna be awesome. I hope. Oh! <laughs> I wonder what the uh, Apple apps this is at. Okay, that's much too. That's much too. Oh! Almost overheated. Okay. So, what's our trajectory look like? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 200 kilometers, okay, so that's a little high, but we're going to still see what happens here. That was a good, that was a good first result, though, holy crap, you know. I didn't, uh, expect to even get this far. Sep. This thing has no way to turn so far. Let's let's open the fairing up here. See what we got going on. Boop. Lower the thrust a whole bunch and just like turn on the engines. Come on, engines, turn on. Okay, why are the engines not turning on? Did this thing run out of power already? to activate them manually. We'll just see how far we can get it with the small engines. Yeah, that fuel is running out quick. We need to get more lateral velocity, or well, you know, we might actually make it. Oh boy, this is exciting. Come on, you can do it, little CubeSat. Noise. Oh yeah. There it is, folks. Tricom 1. I'm gonna separate it from the main... Why is it not separating? Come on, separate. Just broke the staging here. I have to do it manually. Okay, but it was too high. I, uh, I wanted it in a more shallow orbit. Hmm. Looks... Good though, it worked, it worked. Okay, we're going back now though. I want a shallower angle. <laughs> hey, 10G don't matter to a probe, my dude. Fighter pilots can survive 10G. Adjust it a nudge down. Maybe two nudges. Okay. There. Now the trajectory should be a little bit more shallow. Hopefully no exploding happens. They didn't even have 
proper control surfaces on this thing. It was just a couple of fins, and it's actually impressive stuff. Freaking look like a freaking toy model rocket, and they got it all the way to orbit. It's pretty awesome. I forgot to order the staging properly again, too. There we go. Come on, stage. Okay, so we're going down a little bit faster this time. I think that was too steep. Yeah, that was definitely too steep. This thing's a ballistic missile now. It's not getting anywhere. Let's watch it anyway, though, because it's going to be awesome. I'm not actually touching the controls at all right now, like, this entire time, except when we got to, into space the last time. I, I, uh, I, you know, did the orbit burn, but, like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not doing anything right now. I'm just moving the camera. This is all the rocket itself. Boom. Okay. So that didn't work. No, not revert to launch, revert to the, the AB, damn it. I'm gonna investigate fully repairable stages when, uh, when I do the Falcon Heavy video, because, uh, because I'm gonna land two boosters side-by-side, side, Elon Musk style. Yeah, I should do some reusable stuff at some point. Maybe I'll do a stream for reusable stuff this week. Okay. Okay, let's try that. This rocket's... In real life, the thrust-to-mass ratio, I mentioned it earlier, but I'll say it again, 7 to 1 on takeoff. One of the fastest rocket launches ever when they pulled it off, so... So in real life, this thing... This thing might have been pulling a lot more than 10 Gs, actually. Fucking cracked. Because... Oh, no. Oh, I forgot to... I forgot to activate the engine, damn it. Herp. I'll have to find out how many G's the real thing pulled off during launch. Okay, so that looks a little better. Oh, no, we're starting to degrade again here. Come on, you. Don't degrade too far. And again, I am not touching the controls right now. This is all, uh... on its own it's gonna overheat I'm calling it right now it's just yeah oh god oh yeah uh, oh it's it's screwed there's no way the height get to this time though 110 kilometers not bad at all that's uh still not low curb in orbit low curb it would be 75 kilometers but close enough that's definitely decent and it, the pay the orbit's gonna degrade as we get higher too so
Alright. Set a target for app. And. Almost at top. There we are. Noise. Not the most circular orbit or anything, but low, so just like the real one. Open the fairing. Yeah. I still have fuel. I could do something else, but I'm not going to. This is good. I'm going to leave it now. So that's Tricom 1 and the SS520 5. Japanese rocket that launched it. I'm uh, I'm gonna try and miniaturize it a little bit more now. See if I can do it with uh, maybe a the trash can SRB or something. Oh shit, why did I go to the tracking station? That's not what I meant to do. No, I don't want to terminate that mission. Screw off, game. God, there's a lot of space debris hanging out in orbit right now. Whoa. Don't trip out graphics. Oh my god, why is it so laggy? Yo. Jesus. Crash can booster time. Save these so, so I don't have to do all the settings again. No. <laughs> I don't think that there will quite be enough power in here to. Well, if I run it at max thrust and at this trajectory, I might, I might do it. I did have half of my fuel left in the in the main stage when when I actually got into orbit last time. So, we'll see. All right, test number two, but this time with a smaller solid rocket booster at. Uh, we're going to crank down the, thr crank the thrust limiter again this time. And we'll crank it down to 80 this time to compensate for the fact that it's a smaller booster and hopefully it'll still get the right angle. should design a bundle of CubeSats for some other planets. I could do them all in one single launch on a giant rocket. Go, go. Looks like a decent angle, at least. I don't know how far it's going to get, though. Oh my god, that is just nuts. How high did it get? 
60 kilometers and all right so I think we're gonna do straight up then might not have as much success it's definitely hopefully hopefully I think the last one was 10 meters tall all I know is that in real life this thing this thing was only about 10 meters tall holy shit that's some speed that uh I do the trick got up to 87 kilometers this time okay so payload no 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 don't burn straight up that's a waste of fuel oh that's backwards uh. I don't know, I don't think so. I don't think it's going to be able to. No, not this time. Close, though. I can just... I can try adjusting the angle a little bit. One should do the trick. I had it at two, I think, so hopefully this doesn't fall too far.
I'm gonna have to take some notes from Japan so I can start my own space program. Like, really, kind of insane how much they accomplished with such tiny little rockets. They're, they're literally been the record holder for like 48 years for the smallest rockets to make it to orbit. an improvement. Okay, I think I can work with this. It's going to require a bit of work, but we can do this. Okay. little rocket. Is that it? Mm, nope. Not quite. Try lowering the thrust limiter a little bit. Uh, I don't want to lower the angle anymore because start with about 77 thrust instead. Maybe maybe 75. I don't want to lower it too much because otherwise it might just tip too far. need to get picking up a shitload of lateral velocity like well not not a shitload but like enough so that I can like if I can just get a few extra meters per second of lateral velocity then those little rockets will push me to orbit this is obviously not meant to represent uh, the actual SS 520 the, the diameter of the booster is just too large the other one definitely looked a lot more like it, but this is a challenge to myself. Go again. do hopefully have a little bit more lateral velocity now though hopefully
Okay. Okay, so that got us a bit of extra velocity that time. Not enough to get to orbit yet, but close. Very close. Just need to get it to go on just a little bit more of an angle. under 75 is good. Try that. <sighs> Thrust limited solid rocket boosters aren't exactly how the how the SS5 520 really works, but it's getting us to orbit slowly. So, if a feeling lowering the thrust and limiter anymore would uh, result in me not quite getting enough altitude. How did that do that time? That brought the Apo apps down to you. Hopefully it doesn't uh, get below uh, No, it's not gonna. Perfect. Atmospheric drag slowly wearing off. far did we get that time? Mm, not quite far enough. Okay. So...
suppose we could ditch the fairing to get a little bit of extra thrust, but I don't think that's going to help much, if at all. I think uh, it's better to have it on so that we don't have much drag going up. What if... if it would affect performer. No, I shouldn't do that. I was going to suggest adding a puff engine to that thing or something, but no. Keep it like this. Reduce the thrust one more notch down to 72. Below altitude now, so it's going down. Burn a little bit of fuel from that to get above. Ooh, that's way too high. That's too much. We'll see what happens here. I think I got a bit of extra lateral velocity from. So, we'll see, it looks like our velocity is still tapering off pretty quickly. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure there's some extra little bits of thrust to be had there. Oh, we got a periapsis this time. It's our periapsis, 13 kilometers. Too short. We did get a periapsis this time. Okay, so what I'm going to try now is... Adding just a little bit of fuel. Because I raised my apoapsis way too much just now. Lost a too much fuel. So yeah. It's going though, it's it's getting there for sure. I just need to do this in real solar system.
about 74 kilometers again. The workforce gonna have the thrust of this in shortly. Got boosted enough to not quite. Alright, so I've still got a plan. So close. Still about the same results though, so I'm gonna have to try something else here. I think I'm gonna try cranking the thrust down just once more. up there but then we'd have less to work with once we got there but we'll see we'll see what it does here I'm actually you know what I'm actually gonna try a more efficient engine here we'll use the booster to get as high as we can and then a more efficient engine Basically these things. Alright, I'm gonna put two of them on the side then. What is the max thrust on these tiny little twitch engines? 16 kilos. So this is gonna be quite a difference. I think it'll work out okay though. What's the specific impulses on two of those engines? I better find that out first before I make my decision. So Specific impulse on this engine is 290 in vacuum. What's, what's this one? Ah, no stop. Same thing. Well, we'll see what happens. It uses how much a second? 0.063. 
if the engine ISP is the same, then... Well, I guess we'll see what happens. They weigh less? That could be a factor in it, too. I'm sure they definitely weigh less. Yeah, 0 0.02 tons in comparison to what? Yeah, they weigh less. There's the... There's the kicker right there. Go, go. Start running this thing early enough. Let's try this again. I need to design more rockets like this in my. my other videos for other things super fucking fast launch and should work scaled up so Mm, that's interesting. When you keep the booster stage attached, it actually 
bleeds less altitude overall. It's interesting. I wonder how that works. I mean, maybe it's because there's more mass there forcing its way through the air. Cause more mass to push the air out of the way with, maybe less drag. When it's lighter, it can't put as much force into the air, so it slows down a lot more because the air is still putting a bunch of force on it. I don't know. Loss has begun, so... Yeah, there's not enough thrust here to pull it off. I am going to have to try something else. Okay, this is the last thing I'm going to try. Um, instead of using these, I'll use... This is my original plan, but I took it away because the aesthetically it didn't look like the SS, so... This is the last thing. I'm gonna put a spark on here. Thrust is 20 kilonewtons. Which is a little bit more than uh, this one. It weighs a little bit more as well. Um, Look, it should, might use more fuel to 0.574 in comparison to Very little more fuel though, okay. And it's going to weigh less than the two of those together, so we'll try this. The weight is really what matters, it's not about, you know, lower thrust engines or anything. Because it's still gonna give me the same amount of fuel, it's still gonna be the same amount of fuel either way, so. Ooh. I'll keep the booster attached till we're out of the atmosphere because that seems to work good. 
that run only got up to 800. Hmm. That's interesting. Wonder why. Hmm. What is the weight on this? Point one tons. It weighs more. It weighs more to have two twitches on than it does one, uh. One spark. That's interesting. Try the test again. That's weird. That it then suddenly started launching to less height. Maybe there's some drag here from having that engine on. I think that would be the case. It's the drag. See what happens again. Pretty sure the drag is causing this, though. From that, uh, yeah, you can kind of see it deflecting air off that exposed. Alright, well, let's fix that then. Wonder if we could get a bit of extra height and speed too from actually raising the launch clamp up to as high as it can go. It's a pretty unorthodox way of getting extra delta, but it would work, so let's do it. do it once. Oh god, can I not pick it out? Yeah, I can. There. Do it once we attach the engines here. Same way I had it before. Oh, 
Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? It launched the wrong stage. Herp. Let's just do that for a bit while it, uh... Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's... That's enough of that. Let's check. Check your staging. Damn it. <laughs> Why the fuck would they go down there? That's that's pretty retarded. Let's see how that works. I think that's the right one. This one's going any more swimmingly than the last one. Oh, never mind. We're up to like 400. Hmm, that's strange how that works. Probably the drag. Nothing covering that stage, so. Seventy-three kilometers. We need Bahamoto Dynamics Retractable Engines I'm thinking that I did to make to, to change this thing from the design before. Oh, I forgot to raise it. That's what I was going to raise it as a desperate last attempt. Okay, well, we'll see how this works out anyway.
24 kilometers. Alright, I'm getting closer. I heard that you could orbit at 70, so what I'm gonna try and do is... Set it up for 70. And of course, I'm also going to raise it up to as high as it can go. This. There we go. Now it should, the clamp should take it up that high. Good. Just above where we need to be. Also try separating the fairing to reduce some drag. Let me take off here. Oh, that, there we have it, that did it, I mean it's a wonky orbit, but it's orbit, so whatever, I succeed, noise. Alright, so... That's pretty much all I have. I have two CubeSats in orbit now. I think. There's two of them. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually go ahead and rename this thing. The Tricom 1. You know, like the real thing. Oh, I see. 
the edit. There we are. Huh. All right, so that's that's uh, the world's smallest rocket, uh, the SS five twenty dash five. It was made in Japan, uh, and uh, I thought it was neat when I saw about it. Um, all this, all this new stuff that's happening, the electron rocket. This thing, the Falcon Heavy, all this stuff is just, just great. I hope this, I hope these, this keeps up. This, these frequent launches keep it going. NASA just tested their RS-25 engine too. It's all good stuff. So uh, let's keep this momentum going, people. Uh, I'm gonna upload this on YouTube as a video, um, and I'll get to work on the uh, the Falcon Heavy recreation tomorrow. This is the Insane Aerospace Engineer, I'll see you guys star side.